made it to the end of the year. I feel like Kevin from Home Alone. Oh my God, that looks like my dream in a bowl. I get to meet Jason Momoa and we're going ice skating at Somerset House. We are here in hell. We lost Austin in the front. Oh, I'm stressed and I don't know what to wear. Also, look who's here. Hi. Sophisticated businesswoman. Oh. It's a lot, but we moved. And I was like, where are we being taken? Good morning and happy Monday. How are you all doing? I hope everyone has had a good week so far. I'm saying happy Monday because it's Monday the day I'm filming, not the day that this is going live. But I have a very exciting week today. Week today? Oh my God, I've just woken up, sorry. I have a very exciting week this week. So I don't know where it's come from. I thought, in my last vlog, I told you I was trying to slow down for Christmas, ease into the festive time, wind down as we go into the end of the year. Well, that has absolutely not happened. So <laughs> some opportunities have come up in the last couple of weeks. And it just so happens that they have all fallen within this week. The plan for this vlog is to take you with me along all of it because it is just like really pinch me moments. I can't expect, I don't know what to expect from a lot of them because it's very vague, but just absolute pinch me moments and I can't believe that they're happening. So I'll tell you what we're doing today and tomorrow and then I'll take you with me the rest of the week. I've been invited to an experience to celebrate the launch of the new Aquaman. This for me is such a pinch me moment and Lewis is so jealous, like so jealous and I feel really bad that I can't take him. Um, I literally begged, I was like, please, 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 and there's just no space. So there's like a select few of us that have been chosen to come and participate with with all of these different activities. Now it starts this evening, so I've got today to kind of work. I'm gonna be out all day tomorrow now, so I've got to kind of cram everything into today. And then I'm traveling up to London later this afternoon to stay at the Grosvenor House Hotel on Park Lane, which is very exciting. It's such a beautiful hotel. I've stayed there once. So I was nominated for an award a couple of years ago and I was like, oh my God, I've never been nominated for an award before. It was being hosted at the Grosvenor House. And I was like, oh my God, um, we're gonna we're gonna go and we're gonna stay there and it's gonna be amazing. And we did and it was gorgeous. Didn't win the award, but that was fine. It was still an amazing experience. And so we're going back there and I remember we literally chose like the smallest room you could possibly book and it had a view of like a wall but I'm excited to go and I think they're going to really spoil us so I can't wait. And then this evening we've got a dinner to meet everyone, all of the influencers that have been invited. I think it's across like TikTok, YouTube, Instagram and one of my favourite people in, on this earth, Austin, is going to be there so you will get to meet him. He is just a hoot and a half. He is so funny. And then um, from there we are then going to dinner this evening and then we wake up bright and early tomorrow for a full day of Aquaman experiences. And I don't mean to alarm you but I get to meet Aquaman. I get to meet Jason Momoa, the absolute specimen of a human. Lewis won't mind me saying that because he agrees. <laughs> if you've seen Game of Thrones, if you've seen Aquaman, like he is just a stunning human being. He's like, I want to say six, seven. Should I Google it? He is, he is tall. He is a mighty mountain. Jason Momoa height. Right, let's, let's do this. He is in feet. I don't know what, what meters are. In feet. So my Wi-Fi is slow. He is, oh, he's six foot four. That's tall. I, th I thought it was gonna be like six foot nine. He is six foot four, beautiful human. And I cannot wait to meet him. So I actually need to pack and there's like loads of different activities. So, right, th there's a lot. So basically they're, they're putting us up for two nights but then I've got a dinner with another brand tomorrow night that isn't with Aquaman because all of the activity finishes at like 4.30 but they're still putting us up for an extra night, which is so generous. So I'm then gonna go to the dinner tomorrow night and then stay at the hotel again. So I get two nights in this gorgeous hotel and I literally cannot wait. So I've got a lot of packing to do because I need to pack for dinner this evening, an outfit for the daytime tomorrow, including a swimming costume, which I will explain later, then an outfit to meet Jason Momoa, then the outfit for dinner, and then the outfit for the Wednesday because I've got meetings in London on Wednesday. It's a lot, but we move. Yeah, definitely not slowing down towards the end of the year, but that's okay. I'm probably gonna take more than I need because I know I will panic. When I'm in that hotel room by myself, I'm gonna be like, oh my God, what do I wear? Influencer events are scary. There's loads of people I don't know. You're forced into these social situations where you have to make conversation. I wouldn't say I'm the most confident person. Like talking to a camera like this in my own setting, in my own safety, in my own home is fine. But putting myself out there and when people are like, what do you do? What kind of content do you create? I'm like, I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I don't know. So yeah, it's just a lot. It's quite overwhelming. These are the moments that I actually wish I still drank. I know that's so bad, but like if ever someone's like, when do you feel like you would reach for an alcoholic drink? And I'm like, these environments when I know no one and I feel so wildly insecure. Um, so yeah, I'm not gonna drink, but that I'm gonna think about it. <laughs> no, I'm joking, I'm joking. Anyway, I really need to go pack, so I will speak to you in a bit. Right, so mad panic. I go through phases of being like, oh my God, fashion is my passion. I love everything I wear. I love my entire wardrobe. And then days when I'm literally like, I have nothing to wear. 
this is hell and it's usually in winter I feel like summer I can get away with things because I'm not very good with accessorizing do you know what I mean like I can maybe put together an outfit but finding a coat shoes scarf hat obviously I'm not gonna wear a hat to a dinner but you know what I mean um I'm sat off breath I just went upstairs oh, I'm stressed and I don't know what to wear so the options are what I love is I'm gonna say comment what you think I should wear and then you'll see at the end of the video whether or not I wear it and then I can live with regret but basically these pajamas from Nadeem Arabi I've had for so long and I've just never had the confidence to wear them because they're quite out there aren't they they're like silky satin with these like feather cuffs they're absolutely to die for but I just don't know whether or not I'm confident enough to pull them off so I don't know if it's just a waste of wardrobe space. Not wardrobe space, you know what I mean. I've already worn it twice this year, so we're getting it out for a third time. Um, oh, I love it. It's really old caramel and I actually had tailored to be a little bit less mumsy. It's a feather cuff. I was bold enough to wear that though, wasn't I? So it's like a peachy orangey colour um, in a shirt with a feather cuff and then a matching skirt, which is not in this bag. So thank God I checked because imagine I just rock up and then not have the freaking skirt. Where's the skirt? Please hold. Gosh, I'm sweating. That was a panic, but this is the skirt. It's gorge. It's so pretty. It's like feathery. And I'd wear that with pink heels and a pink bag. I haven't shown you all of them. This skirt is really textured, A-line, kind of maxi style skirt, but I've got no top to wear with it, which is a, a crying shame. And then the lastly, let me show you my last option. This could potentially give cast me in a movie, even though I can't act. It's like Carrie Bradshaw, tool skirt with a satin cream top and then this cream bow in my hair. Don't know if it's too twee, but I'm gonna take it anyway. And then for tomorrow's dinner, I've got this dress, which I have worn in a vlog. I've worn this so many times. I've worn this to death. This is like my winter, when I can't be asked to shave my legs or armpits, dress. I don't know why I just admitted to that, but I love it with a little black bag, black heels. And then this is a new number. I wanted some pieces that are classically tailored, that will never go out of style, that give sophisticated businesswomen so this is like a cream, it's giving Chanel, but it's not. It's Marj, I love Marj. Their stuff just never, never misses. Oh, there's a bit of green fluff on it though, so let's pull that off. Um, yeah, so it's got this gorgeous stitching. It's a stunning dress and I'd wear this with black tights, a black bag, a black bow and black heels. So I'm gonna take that and try on both when I'm there. Probably have a panic attack because I can't dress myself. So I'm gonna shove that in a suitcase now and hope for the best really. God, stress. I should have done this yesterday in hindsight. Right, team. I'm in London. I'm in the Grosvenor House Hotel and I've just been treated like royalty. Um, I literally walked in and I was like getting my bag out of the taxi and I was like, hi. And then he was literally like, no, 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 you don't have to lift that. I'm going to lift that. And I was like, oh, okay. And then I had like my bag with all my dresses in. He was like, no, 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 I'll get that. And I was like, oh, okay. Went to reception and they were just so lovely and everywhere is so Christmassy. And so then they showed me up to my room and it is literally like a palace. It is so pretty and it's definitely a nicer room than when I stayed here last time. Downstairs was so beautiful, there was a pianist serenading everyone whilst they were eating and I actually decided on the way here that Lou and I are also in London on Wednesday night as well as for an event on Thursday so it makes no sense for me to go to stay here Tuesday night, go home Wednesday morning, come back Wednesday evening, go home Wednesday evening, come back Thursday morning, like it just makes no sense. So we actually asked if this room was available for a third night and it is so as a little Christmas present, early Christmas present to Lou and I. we're gonna stay here on Wednesday night after an event that we have together go to then our event on Thursday and just use this as a bit of a base and I've actually never done that before if ever I've stayed in London it's been like one night max so to stay here for three nights in this incredible hotel just before Christmas is like the biggest pinch me moment so they're gonna bring up my stuff in a minute and then I'll give you a full room tour but I actually have a call in 25 minutes and it's quite a big one it's basically there's a contact for Carews that I have been trying to make since the beginning of this year it's someone that could be be hugely influential within the company. Sorry, I should say what Carew's is. If you're watching this for the first time, I have my own range of non-alcoholic spirits and they are functional non-alcoholic spirits with adaptogenic ingredients and it is like my biggest passion. I've been sober for almost five years now and I'm just so obsessed with the brand and its potential. So I've got a call that I have spent all morning preparing for. We have a meeting with two people from this particular contact and intro that we had made. Um, so I'm just gonna sit in my own energy for like 20 minutes and just get excited about it because it's very, I don't know, it's just been a really surreal experience. We're meeting all of the team at 7 p.m. So once I've got off my call, I don't know if I should go on a little explorer of London. Do you know what I mean? Like it just feels such a waste to literally have Oxford Street on my doorstep and not go and explore. So yeah, I'll have this call get settled in and then um, get ready for tonight's dinner. I'm so excited. Let me just give you a tour though. So this is the little entryway. I've got these lovely wardrobes, which I will be filling in about five minutes. And then 
this big old bed, this gorgeous room. Look at the view. Got a view of London, all the hustle and bustle beneath, but it's still like lovely and soundproof. So I cannot hear anything going on out there. And then got a little desk area where I'll have my call and do my makeup. Got a TV. I wonder if there's a, is there a mini bar? Oh, there is a coffee machine. Items removed from the bar will be charged automatically. Um, oh shit, that just made a noise. Got a mini bar, nice. Probably won't have any of that, but nice that it's there. And then in here, we have the gorgeous bathroom. So I cannot believe I arrived in this attire. I look so scruffy. That needs to be tucked in, I look so scruffy. Oh my God, it's massive. Jeez, so we've got the sink here. This is where I'll do my makeup actually. That is stunning lighting. And I've got a bath. Oh my god, I can have a bath. That is gorgeous. Lovely. So yeah, this is us for the next three nights. How exciting. So I've ordered a coffee to my room and look how beautiful this china is. It's absolutely gorgeous. This whole aesthetic is just a pre-Christmas staycation dream and I can't believe it. <laughs> Right, the call went really, really well. I have a panic rash all over my face, so if I'm red, it's because the pressure. I can't, I can't. When people are asking me questions, I'm just like, oh, I just freak out. Anyway, I feel like Kevin from Home Alone. I feel like I'm just by myself. I have, the world is my oyster. I can do whatever I want, which I know you can as an adult, and I'm not a child, but it just feels like, what do I want to do? It's five o'clock, work is done for the day. Do I go, I'm literally what 10 minutes away from oxford street do i go for an explore do i go and find some food do i we've got dinner at seven we're getting picked up at seven so dinner's gonna be half seven they say it's half seven it's probably be 7 45 maybe even eight o'clock should i go get some food i think i'm just gonna go and explore i'm just gonna put my coat on and just go on a walk and have no idea where i'm gonna go get some food come back to the hotel i might go to the gym actually what do we think i love it i haven't spent time completely by myself in a really long time i don't know it's like a little retreat isn't it i might see what's close by for food you know oh there must be somewhere nearby what if i type in sushi near me sushi nearby oh rocker yeah sweetheart i ain't popping to rocker no immediately no yeah i'm gonna see what is around have a little explore and um check in a little bit Right, I am back, I am showered, and I am getting ready for the evening. So I have to be downstairs in exactly an hour, well, under an hour, to meet all of the other guests that have been invited on this incredible press trek. So I am manically gonna do my hair. Um, I actually went for a bit of ex an explore. I didn't get my camera out because it was also so busy so busy if you watched my vlog last week you'll see that i actually went into london with a friend with my friend sasha and we went shopping and it was just absolute carnage so i don't even know why i chanced it today um i'm actually going to link these colors below tangent sorry i'm actually going to link link these curlers below because someone on my instagram just asked what curlers i use and so i linked them and i was like oh my god they're 50 percent off run don't walk they're so good um and they're not super expensive anyway sorry tangent winter wonderland is literally across the road so i came out and i just saw so many um like the ferris wheel and all of the pretty lights and it was gorgeous and then um i just walked to bond street which was absolute carnage and all of the Christmas lights are out and it's just really, really pretty. And I walked and took myself to Wasabi, got a little sushi roll, mooched a bit and then came back. It was so nice. And also because I've not seen daylight today, it was just quite lovely to see daylight really. Other than that, I'm just going to manically get ready in the next 44 minutes and go and meet everyone for dinner. I'll see you when I'm ready. I'll show you the finished ensemble when I'm ready. Right, I'm just getting ready now. I have to be downstairs in two minutes. I actually really wanted to put this with a cute little bow, but I don't have time to put it in, which is so annoying. How cute would that have been in the back of my hair? But it is what it is. I will save that for another time this week. But yeah, I've just got on. I went for the um, beige skirt that I showed you earlier with the little satin top. Right, let me take you into the nicer lighting. So the outfit is this little skirt. Right, I think that's the best as we're gonna get, I'll be honest. I'm just gonna go meet everyone now. And I'm gonna also switch to Steph Cam. <laughs> tired 
is just before midnight. We had a stupid idea. <laughs> Pick up to go to um, have a drink in the bar area. And I'm honestly just exhausted. So taking off my makeup, we have to be up in seven hours. I'm gonna take off my makeup, get ready for bed, go to my bed, sleep, and then, um, oh, I'm so tired. I'm not making any sense. We're going white water rafting tomorrow. I don't know if I, hiccups. We're going white water rafting tomorrow. I don't know if I mentioned that, but we're up at seven to be picked up and driven for two hours to get to the place where we're then doing the white water rafting. Then we have like a bit of time to re-sort out our hair, makeup, whatever, to then meet Jace, Jason Momoa. I'll check in with you guys in the morning. Sleep well and lots of love. Good morning. I'm heading down to meet everyone in the lobby. Hoping there's time to grab a coffee and then we are loading onto either taxis or a bus to head out of London and we are going to go to a water centre to do white water rafting. Let's go. <laughs> we just wait for Leo and he's here. Oh no, Leo and he's here. <laughs> Would you like to say sorry to everyone? <laughs> sorry to everyone. <laughs> Thank you. So some of us didn't get much sleep because there was a party next door with my room so we're going to move again tonight. But I hope everyone has a lovely journey. Hi guys, welcome. Good morning, welcome to Aquaman 2. Hello. Is that you have to say? Nope. No. Okay, well that concludes the speeches for this morning. Cook and cat. Cook and cat. Yeah, put on your merch, babe. Yeah. Back with them. This could be the last clip that you get of me. What's the date today? I love my family, I love my friends. The day we all died. <laughs> the day we went to Dubai. <laughs> Oh, there's no a slide shit. there. We could have done that. <laughs> Why does it look all right? It's a bloody assault course. <laughs> In a wetsuit. <laughs> Shaving. Oh, God. What's that big slope? Do you know what? I thought we'd be in a river. <laughs> so this is actually better. The clipper boat. Here we go. Oh, that's Kitchen great. Kitchen and bar. See oh, you there, guys. That's lovely. We, we did it well. I was watching from upstairs. <laughs> <laughs> we are here in hell. How are you feeling? Do you know what? I'm a bit nervous that I'm not nervous. I don't think it's sunk in in my head what is actually about to go. <laughs> Where's the only? <laughs> <laughs> oh, basically we have to swim. Team GB are currently training. Oh. So today I woke up and I thought I want to wear a woolly hat. So I thought <laughs> I'll wear my Aquaman hat and I've got this, look, what's this called? A jacket. <laughs> you can twirl in it. Oh, it's got a nice little That's it's nice. Got, like a nice little cap. GB. <laughs> Hey, <laughs> yeah, good, how are you? <laughs> right, guys, we are about to go white water often and as you can tell from their faces, we're really excited. Yeah. <laughs> I actually am excited. Do you know what? I feel like it'll be a fun experience. You need to try everything once. You only can't yourself. swim. <laughs> I can't swim. I can't swim. <laughs> you know, if you see this, it means I was able to edit this. Yeah. So we made we're it. Alive. Yeah. Or you're at my funeral. Yeah. <laughs> Look at us. It's gone in December. Stop. Like this, is that okay? With my knees like this? Uh, you can't move very well like that. So when you're like that. <laughs> oh, let's go. We <laughs> fall out, we have people on the side. Just What's the likelihood of falling out? Depends how good you are following this
my loves. Oh my God, let me do a debrief of what has happened today. So we woke up at the crack of dawn, went downstairs to meet as a group and we got into our coach and we drove up to, I wanna say it was like North London. And we went to this site, which was actually built for the Olympic training. And as we got there, Team GB were practicing in their canoes on this like chaotic, river anyway we then got in our wetsuits and we made our way out into the boats and we were in boats of six but before we started we had to do a swim test so we had to jump in our wetsuit out into the river let the current carry us go down this like divot let the water go over our face and then swim to climb out and when i say it is december in the uk the water was under four degrees it was beyond cold and i think i knew it was going to be cold but i didn't think it was going to be like ice bath cold water therapy. I just hadn't mentally or physically prepared for it. The cold literally took my breath away. I was going, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. I couldn't breathe, like I could not breathe. Anyway, so then I got my breath back and then it did the bit that went under. So the water flushed over my face again and I'm not great in water like that. Like a swimming pool that doesn't move, fine. The sea scares me a little bit. A freaking moving river with a current, terrifying. So it went over my face and I got all panicky again. And they were like, swim, swim. So we have to swim against the current. I'm not the strongest swimmer anyway. It's like a running joke in my family. I got out, shivering, freezing cold. And this guy Nick turned to me and he was like, are you okay? And I was like, no, did you just watch that? And he was like, yeah, I thought we'd lost you. I literally was just like, I am a goner. I was like, see ya. Anyway, we then got in our riverboat uh what's it called raft and the first time we went around was so much fun they tell you instructions and shout what you have to do and stuff and it was so much fun we went around again and then he was like okay we're now gonna surf a wave and just really listen to what i'm saying so we were like okay we were surfing this wave no word of a lie we were tipping so much like this we lost austin in the front he just flew out <laughs> He was gone. He got stuck underneath the boat and then carried out by the water. And so we were all panicking that we would get thrown over, which our panic meant we could not hear the man screaming, lean right, lean right. So we were all just like, get us out, get us out. Anyway, he got us out. It was an amazing experience. It was just bitterly, bitterly cold. Then after that, we showered and got back on the coach and got dropped to right by the O2 Arena, so in Greenwich. And we got on a boat that was just for us. And there was a glam squad and there was food and there was hot drinks and we had our hair blow dried and our makeup done and there is never any way that you would know that we had been drowned rats prior to getting on that boat like I got on the boat and got off the boat two completely different people got changed got off the boat at Battersea power station as we walked out there is this beautiful glass house building right by the ice rink that is there at Christmas it was like something out of a movie there was the power station that is just a beautiful building anyway there were all of these Christmas trees and it was just so perfect it was gorgeous we were stood there having drinks nibbles cakes whatever and then jason momoa walks in aquaman himself standing there and they're like yeah, yeah yeah you get to meet him you get a photo with him i was like sorry what one of the girls ayame was literally like i love you and he just started laughing all of us queued one at, one at a time we got to hold his trident yeah we did and we got a photo now everyone else is still there ice skating but i sadly had to come back because i have a dinner this evening so tonight i'm going for dinner with the diary of a ceo team which is stephen bartlett's podcast and they have these conversation cards that i think have been released or are yet to be released and it's basically about making gorgeous conversation in a sit-down environment and there's a dinner for us this evening so I think I have what time is it quarter past five I have about 45 minutes luckily I've had my hair and makeup done I'm just going to do touch-ups to choose an outfit get ready and then I've got to get a taxi it's literally 10 minutes around the corner so this whole base as a setup is amazing and I will check in with you guys in a little bit yeah, I'm ready so I've gone for the Mars dress also look who's here Hi. Hi, he's going to stay with me, um, even though I'm going out. So this is the dress. And then I've just got a black bow in my little hair, like that. But I'm not sure if I love the outfit, but I can't even think it because I need to leave now. So switching to stuff cam now.
last night was absolutely incredible. I'm gonna give a full debrief later, but right now, Lewis and I are getting ready because we're going for a lovely little brunch. So there's a brunch spot literally in a, a 10 minute walk away called Daisy Green, and it is the first of the Daisy Green collection. I got them all over, there's Scarlet Green, Timmy Green, can't remember the name of the other ones, but they do the most incredible coffee. It's Australian owned, so you know that coffee is gonna be good shit, and the brunch is also out of this world. So we're gonna walk, treat ourselves to a bit of a slow morning, have a lovely catch up, because I love this man, right? But I barely see this man properly. We are like passing ships in the night or we're both working from home but not spending quality time. So we have a few hours of quality time this morning and then come back. And we're actually gonna use today as a bit of a work day. So we're obviously staying in this beautiful place, um, but we're gonna find a bit of a base. Lou's got some calls with clients and I've got some stuff to do. And then when we get back after brunch, I will tell you about the extravaganza that was last night because it's not something that I can rush. Um, it was honestly phenomenal. <laughs> oh yeah. very very bad at vlogging today let me talk you through what we've done so Lou and I this morning obviously went for brunch which was lovely and then I met my friend Leanne for a coffee at Blank Street Coffee which I've seen all over Instagram and I thought it was just gonna be one of these places where it's just like an aesthetic coffee shop but the coffee was so good so I had a little oat milk latte and a catch-up with a friend that I have not seen for about God, we've not had a catch up in about six years. And I genuinely, I was feeling a little bit anxious today. I think because it has been so go, go, go and I've not really paused much. I swear to God, you know when people just calm your nervous system, the moment I saw her, everything that was like in my brain stopped. And I was just like, oh my God. And for that hour and a half, it was just pure joy. And I think sometimes I get so stuck in my head and I think I need to do more and more and more and more and more when I'm feeling anxious or stressed. And it's like, I need to push through that uncomfortable feeling to be able to get to the other side to then feel freedom when actually what I needed was a moment to pause a moment to just freaking turn my brain off and laugh and smile and breathe with a really good friend and it was lovely Lou and I came back and we actually got a delivery to the hotel room which I should have filmed because it was so delicious we went downstairs to the gym and now I need to get ready I am getting ready for our Christmas party this evening I've been with my management for god eight years maybe nine years um and they are literally my family they have helped me grow from a 19 year old girl into a 27 year old woman they have helped me build a career that I can only dream of they have supported me in ways beyond my career and they have just been one of the most valuable assets to my life and the team is just built up of such amazing humans that just want to cheer and champion young entrepreneurs and it is just oh, it's just a lovely environment to be in so we are going to go and get ready and see everyone all the clients are going to be there all the talent managers are going to be there and it's just going to be a lovely opportunity to dance and boogie with people that you don't get to see all the time oh my oh. god yum 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 oh my god they bought bread did you order bread no just came with oh that's so nice yeah. look at this for a date night oh my god that looks like my dream in a bowl look at the vegan parmesan as well oh wow it's amazing so lou got a lentil and bean chili and i got the tomato penne pasta with vegan parmesan and tender stem broccoli and i wish you could smell this so this is the dress that I'm wearing this evening. It is, um, I'll link it below, but it's a red little number. It's got gorgeous sparkly hearts and then I've got some sparkly shoes to match. And a sparkly little bag, this little silver number. And then let me show you the shoes as well. I have some very sparkly heels on, which are super comfy. And I feel like I'm in Strictly Come Dancing. It's it all together. So cute. I love the giant puff sleeve. Look at it look at it right we're late we need to go come on then good morning good morning so we went to the christmas party last night which was gorgeous um but we are very very tired now so we are heading out to breakfast and we're actually going to plants which is deliciously ella's restaurant and it's all vegan and we're excited to see what they have in store because i've actually i don't think i've ever eaten here before have you no. no so i'm excited on the menu there was like waffles and pancakes and all of these things that us vegans can't usually get so let's go and see what they've got i actually love that she's put a vegan restaurant on what used to be a dairy we went for the harissa butter beans with rainbow shard and sourdough toast and then a side of creamy truffle mushrooms an oat milk latte this was a what juice was this <laughs> and then lou got an americano and it looks absolutely delicious 
what a week it's been so just checked out of the hotel which i was so sad about because it was just so christmasy so festive and felt like something out of a hallmark movie lou has gone home bless him with all of my luggage he was literally piled up with like my suitcase my bags everything i actually have a final event in london before i get to go home this evening and rest <laughs> for the weekend there is a threads and meta christmas party earlier this year i was invited into a wellness collective with meta so there's one for foodies there's one for fashion there's one for um, wellness there's loads of music everything and I think many of us have been invited today to celebrate threads and meta and the success they've had this year to meet all of our favorite creators meet some new creators and we're going ice skating at Somerset house so I am on my way there now um, I have no idea what to expect I am a horrific ice skater I was not built for ice skating it is not my forte but I'm gonna give it a go I don't even know if I'm appropriately dressed I'm sure they've gone full out it's meta they always do so I will show you what we get up to we are about to go. Wow. Millie, how are you feeling? Wow. I'm feeling. I'm feeling. Guys, we're prepped. Yeah, she's a pro. I've actually been on Dance My Life before, so I know. I genuinely just believe that. <laughs> right, let's go. What? Any time today. Any time today. Um, while you're waiting, you may as well buy yourself a Christmas gift off the 20-minute vegan, the best-selling oh, vegan cookbook in the UK say. this year. I hate you. Oh, mate, may as well. Team, let's go. Take my hair. Take my hair. Take my hair. <laughs> we look, I feel like we look so professional we absolutely oh, don't. Mate, <laughs> We're doing it! I love the technique, it's very good. <laughs> How did you find it? It was alright. Yeah? Over. 10 out of 10. <laughs> I'm a pro now. You are. You actually are a pro now. You not You're so much. You're a pro now. Oh, yeah. Wait, Callum, just... you need some work. I do need this. I didn't lift my feet, but I didn't fall over. No, honestly, True. I find as soon as you start like speeding up, yeah. like, if you put more momentum, you get like a little bit more confidence. Just be, be a bit risky with it. Well, obviously. Right, thanks coach. Like, <laughs> well, I like my teeth, that's the problem. Right. <laughs> I am finally home. Um, I got back quite late last night after dinner and I just thought I'd do a little bit of a debrief of the last few days. Obviously Monday was amazing with Warner Brothers and Aquaman. Then Tuesday was jam packed full of Aquaman adventures. Then the Diary of a CEO conversation cards dinner. I've told you nothing. So should we just go through what happened there? I walked in and it was a room probably no bigger than this room. Kind of felt like a small library. It was like a bookcase. And then we sat there and they were like, your, your host will come and get you. So I was sat there and I was like, oh my God. And I didn't really know anyone there. And then the host came out and suddenly this bookcase opened and I was like hello secret door so we walked through then no word of a lie there was this circular staircase going down about three floors with lights kind of flashing all the way down the middle and I was like uh, where are we being taken and then suddenly you get to the bottom of the stairs and it opens up into this massive restaurant this underground restaurant that was like a speakeasy then we get taken into this private room where three of the walls well three and a half of the walls were um like screens and it was this spiral galaxy kind of decor this beautiful long table we sat down and just started making conversation which was lovely and the entire point of the evening was around these conversation cards now i don't know if you're a big fan of the diary of a ceo podcast but i am a huge fan of that podcast and basically at the end of every podcast the guest that has been interviewed writes down a question in a book and then it gets asked to the following guest and these conversation cards are a pack of those questions and basically it's to encourage deep and meaningful conversation at dinner parties or events or whatever and so to do that they had a massive intro video these screens suddenly started talking to us which was just so clever and there was three different levels so we had three envelopes in our place settings and envelope one was around connecting to yourself so this gorgeous woman called Maya led us through a visualization and then there was a mirror in that envelope and we had to write in Sharpie whatever came up in the visualization. And then we actually shared that between us, which st started a beautiful conversation. Then level two was connection with your loved ones. So we opened the envelope and there were three pictures of like from our social media with close friends or family. And there was a postcard and an envelope and we basically had to pick one of the pictures, write a letter to them to let them know how much we care about them, how much we love them, how much we're grateful for them, write their address on the front and then we posted it through a diary of a CEO post box. And then the team are gonna post it on to whoever we chose to write to, which I thought was a really beautiful idea. The last envelope was one of the actual conversation cards themselves. And all of us around the table had to go around one by one and answer the conversation card. Now this got heavy 
everyone was just so beautifully vulnerable. And obviously we don't know each other. Whenever I see someone go through an emotion, that emotion like bleeds into me and I'll feel it. Like if I just see a stranger crying, I will probably cry. When someone is telling me a story, I don't know why, but I feel like I am going through their emotion with them and I'm feeling every step of the way and I just share their emotion and it's so embarrassing. Like I just cry all the time. <laughs> So I just started crying and then I was on the end of the table. So then suddenly everyone's head went douche to look at me to answer my question. And I was like, can we come back to me? And so we had to go to the next person and come back. It was just mortifying. Anyway, answer my question. As it went on, obviously it was quite deep conversation. A lot more people started to cry. And at one point someone was like, I don't want to cry. And I was like, don't worry, both the best of us do. Sharing such gorgeous conversation with such inspiring people. I just left feeling like, wow. You know, went back to the hotel, stayed there the night. Yesterday was the Meta Christmas party, which was ice skating, which was gorgeous. And then after that, I just went to work from Soho House with my friend Callum and Giuseppe. And then I went to meet my friend Zana. We actually went to surprise her. So I'm her bridesmaid next year. There are four other bridesmaids and myself, well, the maid of honor and then four bridesmaids, including me. And then Zana arrived thinking she was just meeting her maid of honor for, for dinner. And all of us were sat there and it was the first time that we'd all been together since she asked us to be her bridesmaids. So walked to see some Christmas trees and then came home. And when I say I woke up this morning exhausted, it has been a week. This year has been a turbulent one in many ways but also a great success in many ways and I've launched businesses and events and and so many things like within this year alone we've started a house renovation I've launched a, a brand that I've worked on for two years I've launched an event series with an incredibly inspiring co-founder all within one year and I think this week has just been full of incredible opportunities with huge brands and I feel like it's just kind of representing the year that I've had and I've just sat here today and just yes I'm tired but I've let it all kind of wash over me and think fuck like and I'm just really excited for 2024 and I think sometimes when you have dips like last year for me wasn't a great year and I think sometimes when you have dips they are just the moments where you're bending your knees before you jump I'm starting to think maybe my year last year was bending my knees and this year is me trying to jump and hopefully next year I'll fly I don't know I'm just excited by the future for the first time in a very very long time so I'm just sat today a little bit of a shell of a human just it's just been a full-on timetable do you know what I mean like it's been very peaceful people heavy as well so you kind of empty a lot of your energy when you're talking to people and yes it's been beautiful and amazing I just want to sit in it today and just think wow like what an incredible week what an incredible year what an incredible journey and just really feel grateful for it so I don't think you'll hear much from me today even though I've just spoken for about 20 minutes we've made it to the end of the year cool that's it it's actually now Sunday evening and I have not vlogged a single thing over the last few days. I'll be honest, I have been absolutely exhausted. So on Friday night, Lou and I just had a really chilled evening, all of Saturday chilled. And then today we just went to my brother's for a roast dinner, which was gorgeous. I fell asleep in the car on the way home. Just woke up, we're gonna sit and watch the Royal Variety performance now. Um, but I feel like I'm just gonna end the vlog here. All of the exciting things have happened. And oh my god, I just realised that this is going to be the last time that I see you guys or speak to you guys before Christmas. So I just want to say Merry Christmas. I hope you have a wonderful break. I hope it's full of love, laughter, happiness, good food, family time, downtime, a slow pace of life and everything that comes with this time of year. So I will speak to you guys in 2024. Oh, how exciting. But yeah, sending you so much love and I'll speak to you very, very soon.